In this video, I'm going to teach you the rules about learning significant figures. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and I'm a chemistry teacher. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here or you're just starting to learn chemistry, feel free to click the subscribe button so that you get updates when I post new videos. No one wants to lose silly points because they forgot how to do significant figures. I find that this topic stresses a lot of students out, but it doesn't have to. So follow along in this video. I'll explain why we have to learn these in the first place, and then I'll take you through each rule step-by-step step with examples so that you feel more confident about significant figures. Significant figures, so what's the big deal? When we make measurements, we have options for the equipment that we use. And depending on what type of equipment we use, we record our data to a certain number of significant figures. For example, if we take measurements for volume using a graduated cylinder, we can see that it has marks for every milliliter. With this, we measure the volume by looking at the bottom of the meniscus, and recording that number to the 10th of a milliliter. So we could record this volume as 20.5 milliliters since it's between 20 and 21. Someone else might record the same volume as 20.4 milliliters or 20.6 milliliters. So there's always a level of uncertainty when recording data. That's normal, but there are some best practices to avoid too much uncertainty. The 20 is certain because we can read 20 on the graduated cylinder. And by recording our data to the tenths place, we're recording it one digit beyond the certain digit. So that's the best practice. We report our measurements to include all of the certain digits plus one estimated digit. These digits are called significant figures. When looking at a number and trying to determine how many significant figures there are, we have five rules for determining significant figures. Rule number one, non-zero numbers always count as significant figures. So any digit, number one through nine, counts as a significant figure. For example, in the mass 72.3 grams, there are three significant figures. Rule number two, leading zeros are not significant. For example, the number 0 0.0025 has three leading zeros. Those do not count as significant figures. Only the two and the five count because they are non-zero digits. Rule number three, zeros that are between non-zero digits are significant. For example, the number 1.008 has four significant figures because the zeros are between the digits one and eight, which makes them significant. Rule number four, zeros at the end of a number are only significant in the presence of a decimal point. The number 100 only has one significant figure. The number 1.00 has three significant figures because there is a decimal point. And finally, the number 100 with a decimal point at the end has three significant figures. That decimal point makes those final zeros significant. Rule number five, counting numbers and defined constants have an infinite number of significant figures. These are referred to as exact numbers one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, the one and the 2.54 are exact numbers, so they don't limit the number of significant figures in a calculation. Remembering these rules at first can seem overwhelming, but I promise it gets better as you practice. So let's take a look at five examples. Example one, 5.08. The five and eight are non-zero numbers, and this zero is between two non-zero numbers, so it is also significant. So our final answer is that this has three significant figures. 0 0.0546. The five, the four, and the six are non-zero numbers. The two zeros at the beginning are leading zeros, so they are not significant. Final answer, three significant figures. 6.0 times 10 to the negative fifth power. This number is written in scientific notation, meaning it represents the value 0 0.000060. But as you can see, that's not very convenient to write. 
So we use scientific notation to make numbers more convenient. The number six is a non-zero number, so it is significant. The leading zeros do not count as significant, but the ending zero does because of the decimal point. So our final answer is two significant figures. 450. The four and the five are non-zero numbers, and the ending zero is not significant because there is no decimal point. Final answer, two significant figures. 807,000. The eight and the seven are non-zero numbers. The zero between them is significant because it's between non-zero numbers. However, the three zeros at the end are not significant because there is no decimal point. So our final answer is three significant figures. Now check your understanding by trying these practice problems on your own and leave your answer in the comments below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and as always, stay positive and keep learning.